Hello, diecast fans, and welcome, my dudes and dudettes, and everyone in between, to my very last unboxing video for 2022. And for this special, momentous occasion, I bring you the Corvette C8 Z06. That's Z06 for those of you in the UK and Canada and other Commonwealth countries. This is a, another yellow C8 Corvette from Mini GT. It's not a C8R. It's not the Stingray, but it's the Z06. The souped up 600 plus horsepower version that can blow even this fearsome Stingray out of the water, right? So let's get on with the unboxing a few of you collectors may have noticed but the corvette c6 c8 excuse me the corvette c8 seems to be a latter day nissan gtr r35 in that everybody and i mean nearly everybody is doing their own version auto world's got a version Mini GT has a version, Tomica has a version, Hot Wheels has a version, Matchbox has a version. Holy cow, everyone and his brother has a version of this diecast car. But Mini GT beat everybody to the punch because they were the first to get this Z06 out in Accelerate Yellow. So, okay, as you can see, it's basically it's basically the car, it's the Corvette, but yeah, you can see changes in the bodywork. Let's let's get a picture of the actual Z06 C8 Corvette for reference here. All right. Now, let's get reference for reference the base Stingray. Okay? So right off the bat, you can see the differences. You can see the side vents, very significant difference there. The rear vents, okay, you got much larger, you got much larger vents on the back of the Z06. And the front grille, of course, yeah, you see a much more aggressive looking splitter on the Z06. So yeah, bear in mind that this base Stingray is a car that I gave a 10. And this Z06 looks very, very much like Mini GD have yet another winner on their hands. Oh my gosh. Any substantial differences here? Not so much. Not that many differences from the base Stingray. You can see them, but they're not quite as gaping as the other visual differences. Of course, the wheels. It should be noticed. It should be noted that the wheels of the Z06 are completely different from what you get on the base Corvette. All right. So this car is beautiful. I mean, how could it not be beautiful? The base Stingray on which this is based is it's utterly gorgeous. So this could be no less, especially since we basically just taken perfection. Look at this wing. Oh, man. The shape of this wing. It's not the same wing as the, you see on the base Corvette. You see, it's it's got... It's it's nicely shaped here, I guess. Better arrow with, with this kind of radical uh, shaping, right? Such a thing of beauty this okay so you know just just to to stop leaving you guys in suspense this guy this this baby gets a 10 out of 10 it could get no less for me because well it is everything the base corvette c8 is and more all right i am looking forward to repaints of this i was actually hoping that it came in more than one color but 
you know, as I, as I found out from my retailer, it just basically came in yellow, which is fine by me because it's it's beautiful. But I gotta tell you, when the repaint drops, you can you can definitely definitely count on me unboxing it for you. All right, and that's it for 2022, folks. It's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me for another series of unboxing of diecast comparisons. You know, and just on ruminations on our wonderful, wonderful hobby. You know, like I, like I, like I told my friends and my family, this is a channel I started to keep from going insane during the pandemic, and I'm so pleased that over the years it seems to have genuinely picked up some views, some viewers who aren't just my friends or family. It seems to have taken a life, however small of its own and I really hope to continue that into 2023 and beyond. Thank you so much my dear viewers for joining me for this year. This is Jim signing off for 2022. See you guys in 2023.